Dear friends, people of God, I want to welcome you to this uh, first Sunday of Lent, Yabi, the reflection that God has given to us today through the readings of today. The first reading today comes from the Genesis chapter 9, verses 8 to 15. The second reading from the letter of St. Peter, chapter 3, verses 18, 28. And the gospel from the gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. In the first reading, the Lord is talking about God's promises never to destroy the world again by the floods. But also when we go to the second reading, we realize that the symbol of water, that was a symbol of destruction in the Old Testament, becomes a symbol or a source of life that flows through baptism. And in the gospel, we are given the story of Jesus going into the desert to be tempted, to be tried by the devil. We began our Lent period, the last Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, and we are in the journey of 40 days, a journey of the desert for 40 days, trying to reconnect ourselves to the Lord in our journey, in our life. It's a moment to reconnect back to God. It's a moment to renew our lives, a moment to renew our spirituality. The Lord is inviting us in this Sunday that we are called to be united with Him again through reconnecting with Him. The first reading originates or cuts from the first part of the Genesis where we hear God destroying the world by the floods due to their sinfulness. And he now is talking to his people that he will never do such a thing. He will never destroy the world again because he has repented of the sin. But also we hear that transformation that after all that water becoming a point of death, a point of destruction, now through baptism we all get new life. We all get new life through baptism. Jesus is led into the desert to be tempted. This period of Lent is a period of desert experiences. We as believers, we as Christians, we are all invited to go into the desert, to go into the desert to experience God, but also to experience the spirit that guides us, the spirit of God. We hear that Jesus is led into the desert and is tempted like any of us has been tempted before. He was God. Maybe we may ask ourselves, was there any need for Jesus to be tempted? Was there any need for Jesus to go into the desert first before he begins his public ministry? Was there any need for the devil to approach Jesus? Yes, but Jesus wants to show us that what we go through, we can, he actually went through all of those and he won. He conquered all that. Jesus is tempted in different ways, the ways that he could actually be able to respond positively. A symbol, a sign, an indication that the devil does not ask any one of us something that we cannot attend to, something that we cannot achieve. And so it means we need to always stand firm. We need always to be aware of God's presence so as to be able to overcome the temptations of the devil. We have had three things that are in existence with Jesus while he in the desert. One, we hear that he was with the wild beasts. He was with the devil, but with all the angels. The wild beasts and the devil, they symbolize the evil that surrounds us. But also the angels, they are there to symbolize God's presence in our life, always in all that we do. An invitation for us to reconnect back to God and become aware of his presence in all we do. We have three traditional practices in the Christian life. We are invited this time to practice more deeply. That is prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. These three are practices that have gone on and on, but they intend to help us reconnect back to God, to help us to grow more in our life, spiritual life with God, to help us bring a transformation in our life. And therefore, if prayer does not transform me, does not transform you, it becomes just words. 
if fasting does not transform you to connect you back to God, it becomes just a saving. And if almsgiving does not connect you back to God, it becomes a show off. But all these, we cannot do them by ourselves. We need the grace of God always. And so in this time, the Lord is inviting us to be aware of his presence always in the difficulties we go through, in the desert experiences we go through, but also to be aware that he is with us and always to call back to him. Also in this period of Lent, we are invited to take more seriously the life of sacraments, especially the sacrament of penance, which is mainly these days in the danger where many people do not want to go to it to actually practice it. But it's a moment for us to be washed uh, and be given a new life. The Lord is inviting us, the Lord is inviting us today, the way to reconnect back to him in our desert experience, to pray and also to do fasting, to do almsgiving, to repent and practice acts of charity. So we pray in this time that we have just entered the period of Lent, 40 days, which we shall end on the day of Holy Saturday, that this period may be a very fruitful period. It can only be fruitful if we offer our hearts, if we offer our whole selves, that we may be able to speak and listen to God speak to us. So we pray for God's graces such that we may be able to receive these spiritual powers to live by God's grace. I want to wish you a nice Sunday. I want to wish you a nice Lenten period. I want to wish you God's blessings and the strength that you may be able to go through this Lenten period and be able to rise together with Him when Easter time comes. God bless you.